What's up with my hair? It's like I decided to go Super Saiyan but stopped halfway. What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I wanna go over five programming project ideas that I think are really, really good to add to your resume, to your portfolio, or just to do for fun. I think they're really good because they check off a lot of checkboxes of what makes a project good for a resume. And they are also projects that can be done at varying levels of difficulty. In other words, if you're a beginner, you can do them, but if you're much more advanced, you can do them too and just make them a lot more complicated. So with that, let's jump into project idea number one in no particular order. This is going to be some sort of tool that takes in one input or two inputs, maybe three inputs, and spits out some really cool, useful information about that input. So let me give you a couple examples to make this really clear. For example, a web page where you can type in the URL of a YouTube video as well as a word, and the tool, once you press enter or whatever, spits out the number of times that that word was said in the YouTube video. In many of my YouTube videos, I've joked that I wonder how many times I've uttered the word Google or Google coding interview in the video. Well, this tool would allow you to do just that. And you would make use of you know, NLP, natural language processing, maybe some sort of ML package. It's a really cool idea. Another example, totally different, without necessarily using ML or, or AI, would be, uh, you know, you've probably seen on social media like these code snippets that look very pretty. I'll try to put a picture on the screen. Well, a tool that does that. You put in a code snippet and it creates a really nice looking picture with that code snippet that you can then share. Maybe it's hosted somewhere and you use AWS or Google Cloud Platform to host it. And you can do this for anything, you know, a tweet where it makes the tweet turn into a really cool looking like picture quote with the twi uh, tweeters, I guess that's the name, tweeters uh, profile picture like in black and white. The sky's the limit. Really cool project idea that anyone can interact with and understand very easily, and then low-key use in the future. Project idea number two, this one is going to come as no surprise to anybody who's been watching my videos for a while. It is an algorithm or data structures visualizer. I've done a pathfinding visualizer, a sorting algorithm visualizer. I think this is a really cool project idea because you have so many different algorithms and data structures out there that you can visualize. You can definitely show off your front end or CSS skills if you want, but you don't have to. You can make it pretty bare bones on the CSS level and focus more on the sort of algorithmic complexity of the project. And it's the kind of project that can have a lot of wow factor. You can also add other creative things to it, like maybe a sound element, you know, where when it's you know, visualizing the algorithm, there's sound, which makes it cool, you know, and you have to use other packages. The sky is the limit. And the added benefit is that you learn a lot about the underlying algorithm or data structure that you are visualizing. By the way, if you're a software engineer trying to learn more about algorithms and data structures or preparing for your technical interviews, then do check out my company, AlgoExpert. Go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM, C-L-E-M, for a discount on the platform. Project idea number three is a bot that listens to some form of external data, like 24 seven. And when that data does something, the bot does something in return. Okay, that was like a terrible way to describe this. You probably didn't understand anything. Let me give you an example to really uh, convey this project. There is a Twitter account right now on Twitter. It's a bot. Uh, I forget the name, I'll put a picture of it on the screen. But basically it is a Twitter account that tweets every time that Elon Musk's private jet departs from an airport and lands at an airport. And you can imagine it probably makes use of, you know, public like flight transportation data. Now, it's a little bit creepy, to be honest, with this whole like tracking Elon Musk's whereabouts. Uh, but it's also really cool from a tech point of view. And again, the sky's the limit. You can do this about anything, you know, maybe something that tweets whenever someone posts on LinkedIn or someone posts a YouTube video. Maybe something that tweets whenever a stock price goes below a certain level or whenever a sort of uh, you know, financial indicator suggests that you should buy a stock or sell a stock. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to use Twitter, although Twitter kind of seems pretty cool for that. Um, but the sky is the limit. I think that's a really cool project idea that other people might really enjoy uh, you know, looking at and they'll be very impressed when you've built it out and it's very easy to understand. Project idea number four, this one is gonna be a very simple data 
aggregation tool or web page. So the example that I'll give here is going to be CoinMarketCap. CoinMarketCap is a very popular you know, crypto website where it basically lists a bunch of information about all the top cryptocurrencies. Well, actually, like all of them, like, you know, it shows it about you know, 5,000, 10,000 cryptocurrencies. But the point is, you know, at a glance, you can see uh, the, you know, last 24 hour price action of all the cryptocurrencies, their last seven day price action, their volume, you know, information about them, which one is the top one, the second one, the third one, you get the idea. Now, of course, you could just replicate CoinMarketCap, or you could create something totally unique. For example, you hard code the name or the usernames of the 20 top tech YouTubers, and you have a web page that you know shows data about those 20 tech YouTubers. Like, when's the last time they posted? What's their most viewed video? How many views does their most viewed video have? What's their ranking, you know, their stack ranking against each other? You get the idea. That could actually just be super, you know, interesting to see. And again, the reason this is such a good project idea, in my opinion, is that it's so easy to interact with. You simply send the URL to your recruiter or to whomever you're showing the project to, or you know, you put it in your resume on your LinkedIn, someone goes on it and they immediately see it. They don't really have to interact with it much beyond just like looking at the web page. They don't have to create an account. They have access to everything right then and there. Last but not least, project idea number five is to recreate a very popular game. For example, Wordle or uh, 2048, you know, that game with the cubes where you have powers of two and you have to connect them until you get to 2048. Uh, Flappy Bird, although Flappy Bird is pretty difficult, like a lot of physics in that game. Uh, Snake, whatever popular game you want to do, right? And then to add a twist to it, to make it a little bit different. So for example, 2048, maybe you make it use powers of three instead of powers of two. Or Wordle, maybe you make it use only programming related lingo or, you know, science related lingo. Uh, for Flappy Bird, maybe you add, you know, options to increase or decrease the gravity element. Now, again, that's probably going to be pretty difficult, but hey, maybe you're an actual game developer and that would be a great project. You get the idea. Here again, the sky is the limit. It can be really fun because like people can play the game very easily. They just go on the web page, play the game. If it's a popular game, they might even like like it and, and enjoy it. Uh, like I recently found found myself playing Wordle on the front end expert website because we have a React question that is like recreate Wordle in React. And I was literally playing it in the like expected output of our front end expert coding workspace. So the point is like, that can be just really fun and uh, it can be fun also to develop for you. And it can show, you know, creativity and, and skill because some of these games are genuinely not easy to create. So these are the five project ideas. I hope that you like them. I think they're really good. So much room for creativity and for, you know, varying levels of difficulty, whether you're a beginner or an expert, you should give a hand at them. Let me know what you think about them in the comments below. Let me know if you have other project ideas that you think would be great. Share them in the comments for everybody to see. Uh, don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy shortform written content. Instagram if you like pictures, and I will see you in the next video.